So go ahead and find this place on the floor. Tune into your breath. Coming back to that four count breath, four counts in, take the whole time, four counts out, taking the whole time. Count your breath. Start to feel the floor beneath you. Notice where you feel movement in your body as you inhale. And as you exhale. Maybe your belly moves. Maybe your lower ribs, you might feel movement all the way up into your collarbones. Just breathe wherever you are. Notice where your body is in contact with the floor. Start to imagine yourself softening into the floor. So all those places that are in contact with the floor might start to have a sense of melting. So there's a sense of continuity of their never ending, continuously pouring into the floor, spreading out. You might imagine that the floor is round You're losing your edge between you and the floor. And when you're ready, with your breath, go ahead and roll either onto your side or your back or your belly, depending on where you are. So just be curious about it. So there's no right or wrong here. We're just getting information, feeling the body once you come into a new place, notice where it is in contact with the floor, soften there, pour into the floor. Take just a moment and when you're ready, you find a new place in contact with the floor again, moving. So even as you move, there's a sense of pouring rather than lifting out to get somewhere. Pour into the floor to move. Nice. Yeah, you should feel really heavy. Once you find a new place, you once again soften that sense of pouring. So we're finding what it feels like in our tissues to yield, to let go, to bond. And as we do so, we allow the earth to offer its supporting power to us. So again, taking a moment, you might find a new place. See if something else can gain contact with the floor that didn't have it before. So you want all parts of your body to get that feedback from the floor as you're moving here, as you're breathing, yielding, pouring continuously into the floor. You might be moving slow, you might be moving quicker, it's all up to you. Feel the weight of the body, 
really sense it. Feel the floor beneath you. You're pausing and moving as feels best for you. You might find a spot that you really need to give attention to. Take your time there. About another moment or two. Notice your breath is nice and deep. I'm gonna roll onto one side, curling in to a little ball. And then use your top arm to help yourself sit up. Keep your breath going as you grab your bolster or your blankets or your pillows, whatever the prop is that you're using. Placing them lengthwise behind you and then feel the hamstrings, the head of the hamstrings connecting with the floor. Find your breath, keep it deep. And you're slowly starting to sit back, keeping the hamstrings in contact with the floor. Remember that the bolsters or blankets are about the level of your bra strap, maybe slightly below it, but you want your lower ribs to be hanging off. And once you've found that place, again, you might need to be higher or lower depending on the way your body has decided to form itself, the way that you use it. Um, depending on your flexibility, you're just going to slowly tune into your breath once you're there. So this is that same feeling that we're finding. So you're really aware of that space between your lower ribs and the floor. You might imagine that that air has some substance, like maybe it's, um, peanut butter or putty or just give it a texture. So maybe it's even just really soft sand and you're sinking into it and it's molding around your body, making room for you as you drop down, tune into the breath, finding more room to release. Each breath, even if you can't see it, you can feel the lower ribs sinking down. So that sense of the pelvis and the back, the spine is going downhill. I want to imagine that. Keep breathing nice and deep. Once you feel that release, you can take longer when you're doing it on your own. You can take longer if you'd like. Now just start to make those little carpet angels. So again, the arms are out to the side, elbows slightly bent, the thumb is in contact with the ground. You're just going to take the arms up as much as you can without letting the ribs lift. Once you find that edge, pause. Breathe. Again, awareness of that space, dropping, softening. Gonna just keep on moving, bring the arms back down towards the side, elbows stay in contact. Keep going back up when you're ready, slow as you want, as fast as you want. Feeling the ribs are not connected to the motion of the arms, that the arms are independent from the ribs. Okay, we're trying to release things so that we can find that core and get it stronger. Maybe taking about two more of these little carpet angels. Imagine you're drawing on the floor. 
Use your thumb as a marker or a paintbrush. Drop in the ribs, keep them down, disconnected from the arms. One more. I'm gonna take the psoas release twist. So keep your breath nice and deep. Just take one leg across. Yeah. Again, keeping the ribs down. So if they start to lift, back off. Notice that breath. It's again, that same sense of the pelvis and the spine all going downhill. You're feeling that. You can support that leg that's coming across with a bolster or with blankets if you'd like. Breath is deep. Soften into it. So you should have diagonal creases going across your shirt. Good. Nice soft breath. Notice what it feels like here. Notice the sensations. Soften. One more breath. And then release that leg down. Notice the difference between sides. So this is a great way to take inventory and kind of feel the benefit of what you did. Then we're going to take it across the other direction. So same thing, that creases in the shirt across the body diagonal. Feeling the ribs stay down. So only go as far as you can, keeping that alignment. Soften your breath. Lower ribs are still pulling down, down, down. As the knee pulls across, you can really feel that twisting happening really deep in your tissues. Releasing the psoas muscle. Breathe, soften, find your edge and soften. Release the leg back down. Notice how this side feels now. Take a deep breath. Good, go ahead and roll onto your side, coming off of your bolsters. You're gonna make your way onto all fours, keeping your breath nice and deep. Move the bolsters if they're in your way or leave them where they are, either way. Coming into that lunge. Yeah, so we're gonna do the second one where we're keeping that vertical plane between the aces and the people pubic symphysis. So we're just going to lunge forward, take your right foot forward as you exhale. Keep that line. So your core is really active. Spine is lengthening. Just go as far as you can, keeping that level. Yeah, and it might not be very far. That's okay. It's not far for me either. Deep in your breath. Steady. Good, go ahead and pull the right leg back, inhale. Exhale, left leg forward into that lunge. Again, keeping that vertical plane. Nice and steady breath. Good, only go as far as you can with keeping that alignment. Feel the core activate to keep the pelvis from dipping and tipping. Breathe. One more breath. Good. Go ahead and come back onto all fours and sit back into a child's pose. Find your breath again. Good, from there, you're gonna just go in right into the hang and hollow. So make sure that your knees are hip width apart 
and come so you're stacking your hands and resting your forehead. Check to be sure that your hips are straight laying down above the knees. Find your breath here, nice and deep. Awareness of that tugging. And as you exhale, go ahead and curl up just halfway. Curl all the way up. And back down. Take a breath here. And again, as you exhale this time, come all the way up. Feel the hamstrings come into play all the way up, all the way lengthened head is up vertical. Good, and come back onto all fours and make your way back onto your back for the streams exercise. Coming into that supine position. So come back into your back, finding those streams. So again, reminder, those two streams. Running from your inner thigh, right where your inner thigh comes in contact with your crotch. Two streams running through the pelvis, through that deep valley. Yeah, running parallel to each other, right along the spine. And then they come together at T12, where your low ribs are. Running up the length of the spine. When they get to your neck, they start to go downhill, the stream. And then your head, about ear level, is bobbing along like a ball floating in the water. We're gonna come up to a seated place. And then you'll guide yourself through your breath. I don't have time to do it today, but yeah, the same breathing, that four count rhythm or the inhale, exhale one, inhale, exhale two. Yeah, counting up to 10. 